context, from an economic context, it's like you all of a sudden have a massive heart attack. Okay, it happens quickly, you're down, you're dead. Okay, and it's basically get this guy into the ER, slice him open, get to the heart, get it pumping again. And it's not about nice disease, let's slice him up nicely and uh, you know, make sure that is everything. It's like rip him open, restart the heart and get it going. And when it's successful, that's awesome. You get the heart done, you fix it up. Now you have to patch the guy up. It's wires, it's stitching, etc. cetera. Uh, and you know, when this guy, he's alive, which is awesome, he survived, he's gonna be in a lot of pain on the other side of this operation when he wakes up from the anesthesia. And so you pump him full of painkillers. You put that meds into him. The morphine starts flowing, okay? And that morphine is to protect you from the pain. And that's what the stimulus is. The economy was shut down. We literally turned it off and we started pumping in the meds to support the system, keep it alive. And the neat thing is when you actually wake up in the operating room, okay, A, you're thankful to be alive, this is awesome. You shake off the grogginess from the anesthesia and you feel fantastic. There's a, this, I'm ready to get up and walk out of here. This is good because you've never been so high in your life with all those drugs, okay? You ain't fantastic, but you feel it. And so you feel great. Uh, and think that's fantastic. And then the drugs start to wear off. They start to reduce the dosages. And that's when it begins to hurt. That's when you start to feel the pain. Okay. And that's when you realize the rehab ahead is going to be a long, slow slog. Okay. You're going to need more painkillers, but they're not going to give you what they had. They're going to be tapered down. That's exactly John, where we are today.